Hi everybody. I wasn't gonna come on here and speak about baby girl. Um, but I'm gonna get my thoughts out. This case has been so overwhelming and very emotional for me. Uh, this is close to home because I live not too far from where Malia was living and where she was last seen. Malia reminds me of my daughter who was around the same age and every time I look at my baby girl I just break. This has been so worrisome to me to the point that I've been to Malia's home multiple times trying to figure out why. I don't understand why this baby is still missing after 30 days. Hearing what this baby has been through in her past, up until now, is very hurtful to me. I'm sure you all have heard this story and are uh, familiar with this case. Uh, it's been all over social media, on the news, and has affected lots of people. Uh, when I first heard the story of the stepfather being attacked and being knocked out and after waking up, Malia allegedly being gone, I looked at him and his picture at Houston Methodist Hospital. And I knew right away that his story was bogus. Something about him looked guilty. He had the look of guilt. His eyes wouldn't even face the camera. Like, it's almost as if he knows something. After a while, I started to observe the mom because I noticed that she was on the news constantly, not really showing much emotion. And she came off to me as disconnected from her daughter. I'm going to be honest. At first, I felt like the stepfather was guilty. He looked perverted to me. It looked like he may have done something to her. And then killed her. Then I looked at the mom. And there's something phony and fake about her. It's just, she looks to me like she's hiding something. After hearing the different timelines and stories and dimensions of her going out to Massachusetts and looking at the video of baby girl walking behind him and him leaving an hour later going to work and coming back, something told me that that mom did something. Either she did something or... They both did something together. But honestly and truthfully, it looked like she may have snapped and did something. And he cleaned up the mess and he's covering up for her. My thing is, why isn't he saying anything? If, if she did it, 
Why isn't he speaking up and saying anything? Then his father gave an interview and stated that he pointed fingers at the mother. At this point, I don't trust any of them. We need to know where baby Malia is. I've been praying, looking, trying to figure out where this baby is. She did not deserve this. This innocent four-year-old did not deserve this treatment that she is getting. One part of my mind hopes that it is a hoax and that she's okay and they're just keeping her away. But then I'm like, why would they do that? Why go through all this for that? I don't understand. Anyway, I heard that uh, he was at Arthur Story Park, which is a big, gigantic park here in the Houston area. And so I went up there. I'd never been to the park. But before they even mentioned that he had been to that park, I drive by it every day, and something in my mind just said, what if he walked in there and left her there? So I went in there and looked around, and I didn't like what I saw. I saw swampy areas, lots of water, definitely alligators in those swampy areas. Certain parts of the grass I couldn't go down into because of safety reasons. I wanted to, but was unable to. I saw bags and lots of trash against bushes. Even some point looked like poison ivy, but I wasn't quite sure. I truly wish that the HPD, if they're not doing so already or haven't done so already, would go to that park and really look around, take those cadaver dogs in that area and let them sniff. Those dogs, I truly believe, would be the key if there is something there. Uh, We saw pieces of cloth in the area. I also thought about his brother living in the city of Sugar Land. What if he, if there are remains, he dumped that bag in his brother's trash and the trash is long gone. They need to check those landfills. This is, this case is so disturbing. It's so disturbing that it's just, I'm not going to be satisfied until we find this baby. I have not been this stressed out since my Therese Richardson went missing years ago in, I believe it was in 2012 in Malibu, California. And we went searching for her. They didn't find her till a year later behind the sheriff's station. This baby did not deserve this. She did not deserve this at all. I'm not going to give up on Malia. She will stay in my prayers. If anyone knows anything, Please reveal where she is. That's all we care about right now. Where is Malia?
Keep her in your prayers. Watch your kids if you have any. Don't trust your kids with everybody. If you can't handle your own kids and you get frustrated, give them to somebody else. There is somebody that is more than willing to take care of a child that you're not able to deal with. I'm going to get off here. Um, Justice for Malia. Take care.